Hello everyone. Welcome to Nitel Cloud Tech. Hope all of you are doing good. In this video, we will talk about Power BI and Python integration. How we can extract the data from Python. So, actually, why uh, we require Python source? Because uh, whenever we need custom visuals, whenever uh, like there are uh, sometimes there are requirements when uh, we don't have existing visuals so uh, and i can also say for advanced level uh, bi we use uh, python r and uh, others like machine learning and uh, ai but in this video uh, we will just talk about how we can like integrate uh, python uh, means how we can extract data so there are a few steps uh, which I will tell you. So let's start. So uh, you have to go into the file option and after that option and setting and then options. Okay. And if you see in the left side, there is an option called Python scripting. You have to click on Python scripting. After that, there are two options like detected Python home directories there are two python id you want so these two options are required so let me explain what are these options so in this option basically uh you have to provide your python path where your python file is uh installed in your machine if you don't have python in your machine so you can click on how to install python and then uh, you can install and then you can uh, link now the question is how to link the part how do you know uh, where python is installed so there is one command using that you you will know so let me share my screen let me share that file okay so click on cmd and uh, to get the python location uh, this is a script so if I click here, see, you will get to know the location. So this is the location. Okay. You can check. So if you click here, this is the location. Okay. Okay. Another thing is the ID. ID uh, basically where you exactly need to install where you exactly uh, need to run the python code to run your python code so there should be some id like jupyter um visual studio code and others as well but in this video we are uh, talking about we are using visual studio so you have to provide that visual studio location as well okay once you provide these two locations then uh, you are uh, ready to take python uh, script component and uh, put your script here so in in this case uh, our script is this one so we are just uh, creating a data frame where we have like three columns name job and salary if i run this so yeah so similarly now i can copy this so copy this and go to get data and then uh, more option and then uh, there would be pop off come so now i we need to go to other option and then python script and then connect okay so whenever you uh, will click on connect and whenever you are doing at first time so you may face one challenge so challenge is uh basically uh there should be one library uh called uh, matplot library it should be installed on your machine if it is not installed then you may get error so let me tell you how you resolve that error okay what you will do suppose if the script is not there if the uh, library is not there, so you first need to 
go on the location. Okay. And now we are in Python location. Now you can try to install that library. So library name also I will copy paste. To install matplot library. Okay. So since it is already installed, it is saying the requirement already is, is satisfied. Okay. So there um, you may face one more problem uh, when you try to install matplot library. And if your pip version is not upgraded, so you first need to upgrade the pip version. How you will do that? Let me tell you. So you again need to go into the Python code and you have to Python location, not code, Python location where uh, your Python is installed. And then you will run this command. Python pip install upgrade pip. See, it is already, and after that, you can run this command, pip install matplot library. Okay, I will put uh, these commands in the description as well as data frame uh, Python code. So you can refer the same for um, testing. Okay, let me close this. Now I can copy that Python code and paste here. Okay, so now I have clicked on okay. Now uh, it there would be one pop up from yeah, Python, and uh, I will select like I select uh, like we select for other sources as well. DF, so see, load. So now the data is loading. After that, uh, once data will load, we, we are not going to use this uh, existing Power BI visuals. For Python, uh, we will write a code. So there are separate visual for Python. We don't, uh, we cannot use these existing visuals. Okay. Now, if you see on the right side, we have table. We have this this column, job name and salary. Now I will click on py Python visual. So if I click on Python visual, uh, you will show these two options. Uh, like we need to enable this Python script editor and uh, one part in the report canvas. Okay, so uh, this in in this uh, like uh, Python icon, you will uh, create the your data visualization. In Python script editor, you will basically write the write your code, write your uh, whatever your requirement. So as soon as I try to drag this in the values, uh, script in the script editor. Now you will see the code. So let me drag Shelly name. See if you see this is the code. And now you you can enter and write your code to create the data visualization. So as I mentioned in this video, we will just see how we can extract or how we can connect Python with Power BI. So yeah, that's it. Thank you everyone. Uh, if you guys uh, like feel this video is useful for you then please like and subscribe let's meet in the next video with the uh, next python series in that we will uh, uh, like show how to create graphs how to create visuals thank you everyone